From Rianne Evans sidestepping a handshake with ex-partner Mark Allen to Mafflin's defiant gesture to the cue ball, these are some of the most inappropriate moments in snooker. Kicking things off amid personal tensions, Rianne Evans chose not to shake hands with Mark Allen at the start of their match, highlighting their history as separated ex-partners. Mark Allen and Rianne Evans are going to be doing is playing snooker okay. here this evening. Mark Allen. Oh, Thank you. First frame. We are Nevins to break. Yeah, I think the last time. In another eyebrow raising moment, amidst a close battle with Marco Fu, Neil Robertson's overzealous celebration followed by his exit without the usual handshake stirred talks on sportsmanship. Come on! Oh, you don't normally see that from Neil Robertson. Neil Robertson. He really is. Quite a mood. I've never seen that from him. That's what it means to the Australian. He's back in the lead at 11 10. I've never seen him react quite like that in Stephen Hendry's head. It's only the second round, but you know. Shifting gears to another unusual incident, Ronnie O'Sullivan, in a moment of carelessness, shattered a water glass on his chair, displaying a rather sloppy demeanor that day. Ah, oh, this is it. Oh! Well, he wasn't hurt, that's the good news. <laughs> it's easily done, isn't it? In another intense moment on the Green Bay, Brissell's emotions ran high during a challenging game against Xi Jiahui. After being snookered by his opponent, Brissell, in a burst of frustration, swung his cue with force, sending the cue ball soaring out of the table. That was a heart-in-the-mouth moment for Xi Jiahui, for sure. That cue ball had dropped in. Could have been calamitous. What a difference about a millimetre makes, and Luca Brussel showing a little early frustration here. Adding to the unpredictability of the game, a cheeky pigeon decided to make a surprise appearance during the match between Yan Bingtao and Mark Selby, momentarily stealing the spotlight and causing quite the stir in the arena. Well, I don't believe we've got a pigeon in the crib. <laughs> Please. You can get one at the moment, <laughs> isn't it, here at the Crucible. Thank you. Oh, that's unbelievable. The sixth frame. Shifting the focus from players to referees, Desislava Bojilova picked up the blue ball from the pocket and accidentally dropped it onto the table, disturbing a red ball and causing a stir in the match. She's gonna pick up the screen. <laughs> In another heated moment, Mafflin displayed his frustration by showing the middle finger to the cue ball after a shot didn't go his way. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, 105. Oh, that's a shame for Kurt. He may as well have a go at the maximum, try and pop this black off a couple of cushions somehow. Fair to say he wasn't happy there. Looked like a great shot at one point. He's taking the blue. Adding to the drama, a protester spread orange powder on the match table. Meanwhile, another would-be disruptor was stopped in his tracks by the referee at the neighbouring table. This caused the match to halt. Good job, Harry. Oh. Continuing on, Mark Williams decided to defy the rules, executing an illegal shot using the side of his cue during a face-off with Luca Brassell. <laughs> Not allowed, Mark. Not allowed. What a terrific opening frame, though. 68 break. Superbly compiled. And with that, he leads that man, Luca Brassell, by 
the frame to nil. Early days, but Williams will be delighted with the start he's made. If you want to win a cue signed by this snooker legend, to enter, subscribe to our channel, like the video, and drop a comment with which part of this video was your favorite moment. On another note, Mark Selby unexpectedly created a stir during his match when he rudely pushed John Higgins' cue, interrupting Higgins just as he was about to play his shot. Time for Mark Selby. John Higgins with the chance to seal the deal for sure. <laughs> Well, they call him the jester from Leicester, and he hasn't lost his sense of humour. Despite being well beaten, Mark Selby, sportingly congratulating John Higgins on what was a vintage performance from the four times world champion. A richly deserved victory. Adding to the list of tense moments, Liang Wenbo couldn't contain his emotions against Judd Trump, exclaiming after his last three shots. His post-win celebration was notably disrespectful, raising many eyebrows. Thirteen frame on the match. Great tournament, David. Young Limbo. Yeah, come on. Pushing the boundaries even further, Anthony McGill amusingly climbed the table to make a shot. While he laughed it off, it was certainly an unorthodox and inappropriate move in the snooker world. Anthony, I'd just check to see if it weren't on touch. <laughs> yes, you have to keep uh, a foot on the floor at all times. Can't do that. Marco's particularly amused. Adding another layer to the drama, Ronnie O'Sullivan, while trailing Stephen Hendry, abruptly shook hands and departed mid-game, leaving both the audience and Hendry in shock. Sullivan, 24. I don't know what's going on. Sorry, no. Can we do? Turning the atmosphere tense, John Higgins faced an unexpected interruption when heckled by an audience member during his match against Mark Williams, throwing a brief shadow over that their intense game. 29. Yeah. That person please be removed. Oh, 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 well, somewhat unsavoury circumstance here whereby somebody is Check shouting up, things at John Higgins which really no one wants to hear and Aaron Williams without any hesitation has asked for the person concerned to be removed from the auditorium well that is outrageous on a similar note of rising tensions, O'Sullivan and Ali Carter unexpectedly bumped shoulders during their match, adding fuel to the fiery atmosphere. Certainly not what he cared. He was trying to get in behind the black dirt. And <laughs> he smiles away. <laughs> oh, but they've had a laugh about it afterwards. <laughs> Wrapping up our inappropriate snooker moments, Jimmy White certainly raised eyebrows when he chose to pot the final black with his hand, leaving the audience in a mix of astonishment and amusement. Come on, get round the back of that black. Get round the back of it. Perfect. <laughs> right on the black. For more snooker videos, click on the screen right now.